In this video, I'm going to be showing you the easiest process that I came up with for making any kind of gaff or gimmick cigarettes. Now, basically, I'm going to be using that same exact process in order to make a dummy cigarette. And uh, right now, as you can see, I'm actually holding on to one of the dummy cigarettes that I've already made. And as you can see, it really looks like a real cigarette, except for these two ends. And uh, since, as you can see, it really looks like a real cigarette, this technique is very effective for making any kind of gimmicks. Actually, this entire process is divided into three steps. And on the third step, you can actually modify it according to your own creativity and in your own knowledge in order to create different types of gimmicks for different types of use. And of course, you can create a dummy cigarette if you want to. And that's what we are going to be talking about here. So let's see how you can build a cigarette, a gimmick cigarette or a gap cigarette. Let's see the entire process. Now for building the gimmick, you're going to need a piece of white paper, white on both the sides, a cigarette, a pencil, a scissor, a tongue and a glue stick and also a scale if you need so. So in step one, all you're going to do is basically create the shell of the cigarette. Now for that, all you're going to do is take that real cigarette and put it at one of the corners of the paper and you're going to be aligning it with one of the sides and then take the pencil and mark it at the height of the cigarette and fold the paper right from that mark, aligning the edges of the paper together so that the fold is straight. And once you get a nice fold, you can add a little bit of quiz to it so that it becomes really easy for you to cut the paper from that point. Now, once you've cut the paper, move that small part away for now because it's for later and take that bigger part. And then you're going to take the cigarette and you are just going to pour out all the contents of the cigarette onto this big paper. And for that, all you need is basically this tongue and this cigarette and a little bit of pressure. Now you're going to be continuously applying a small amount of pressure while rolling the cigarette around its stem. And as you can see that the tobacco is starting to come out. And once this tobacco starts to come out, this cigarette actually loosens itself and you can bring the tobacco out with the tongs. Now repeat this process little by little until and unless the entire tobacco is out from the cigarette. Then after that, you're going to be removing the filter from the cigarette. Now you're going to do the same thing, but you're going to be applying a little bit more pressure around the filter of the cigarette and then roll it to and fro. That loosens up the adhesive between the filter and the filter paper. And once you feel that it has been rolled up enough, then you can use the tongs in order to pinch the filter out of the cigarette. And that's how you're going to get that entire cigarette shell. And that's the step one. Now in step two, you're going to be creating the filler of the cigarette. Now for that, you're going to be using the small paper and start rolling it straight from one of the ends with applying high pressure. And when you apply high pressure, the roll is very much compact and that will create a little bit of sturdy filler for this cigarette. Now, once you have done the rolling completely, you can put that entire filler inside that cigarette shell and leave the pressure. That way the filler will take the exact size of the inside of the cigarette. Now pull the roll out, applying a constant amount of pressure so that the roll does not expand sideways. It's going to be really difficult if it does. Open up a little bit and then apply glue to it. Now stick that surface and let it dry while applying a little bit of pressure so that the roll again does not expand. And that was the creation of the filler material. Now in step three, we are going to be building the dummy. Now over here, you can modify this step according to your own needs and build different types of gimmicks or gaps using the filler and the cigarette shell. You can cut the cigarette shell to your desired shape and size in order to make those gimmicks. But anyways, I'm going to be building a dummy cigarette. So I'm just going to be showing you what I exactly do. So I need to find out the portion from where the cigarette was initially stuck, the stem was initially stuck. And across that line, I'm going to make a clean cut just up to the filter. Now, once that is done, I'm going to bring the roll back and I'm going to apply a little bit of adhesive on one of its ends, not on the entire body. And then I'm going to just push it through this part so that it enters the filter area and as it enters the filter area I'm going to be pressing around the side of the filter so that it gets stick to it in a very precise manner. Now at this point over here you can see that this part is still open and for that all I'm going to do is I'm actually going to spread this part out a little bit and then I'm going to apply glue stick to both of the sides and a little bit on the actual filler material. Now after the glue is applied I'm going to be carefully sticking the side of the cigarettes to the filler material and I'm going to be very careful about it because a little bit of misalignment can mess up the entire gimmick. So once I do that you can see that this dummy cigarette is totally ready. 
Now, as you can see over here, little bit of paper is actually sticking out from over here. You can use the scissors in order to trim that out or you can just leave it like that because nobody is going to notice that. Now, if you're making a dummy cigarette, you can also fill up these two sides. This side you can fill up with tobacco by just dissolving it with a liquid glue and sticking over here. But I won't recommend doing that because with time, tobacco absorbs moisture and it will destroy the outer shell of the cigarette. For the filter side, you can cut out a little piece of cotton roll and you can stick it at the end of the filter. But for that, while you are building the gimmick, you have to put the filler a little bit downward so that you have space to put this cotton roll inside of the filter area. Now that's how you're going to be building a dummy cigarette. And also you can use the same exact technique in order to build different types of gimmicks for performing different types of magic tricks. And also at the beginning, I said like to use white paper, which is white on both the sides, because if you have a paper with writing, even if you put the writing side inside while you're rolling the paper, after some days, the ink is going to seep out and it's going to be appearing on the body of the cigarette, as you can see over here. And that happens because of the effect of the glue that you have applied to that paper. So that's why use a white paper and that's how you're going to be building this uh, gaff cigarette or the dummy cigarettes and you can modify it to your own needs. Now that's how you're going to be building a gap cigarette or a gimmick cigarette using the same exact technique so that it appears to be clean as this one. And at this point you might ask me why do we need dummy cigarettes? Well there could be various reasons. Uh, for let's say people who don't smoke they could use a dummy cigarette or for people who have quit smoking just like me they can also use a dummy cigarette in order to do uh, tricks with cigarettes and keep this cigarette for a longer amount of time because at this point if we keep a cigarette after buying it and without just extracting the tobacco from it the tobacco is going to be absorbing the moisture and it is going to put dark spots on the stem of the cigarette and not only that the tobacco is going to be falling out of the cigarette stem with time and that will loosen up the cigarette making it really delicate from the point of the intersection of the filter and the stem of the cigarette so that's why if we make a dummy cigarette we can actually preserve it for a long amount of time and of course when I'm going to be performing any cigarette trick in front of a spectator where I don't need any kind of gimmick I'm going to be borrowing a cigarette from the spectator and that way the effect will be more mind-blowing because it will be with a borrowed object and again as I said you can always modify your third step according to your own creative ideas so that you can build different types of gimmicks for performing different types of special effects on cigarette tricks and you can also use this dummy cigarette as props for film shooting or any kind of photo shoot that you want to do. So that's it for this video. If you're new here, then make sure you subscribe because that's what helps me make amazing videos like this one. And one more time, thanks for watching. Peace.